Okay, we're on the St. John River, uh, St. John, St. St. George River, and we're coming up into Round Pond. And skies are overcast. I know there's sun up there just on the other side of those clouds. We're taking kind of a risk being out here on the water this evening. Everybody says it's going to rain. But you know, it's been a long, long, long winter. We're so desperate for summer. We'll just get out here in any old weather to enjoy it. <laughs> okay, this is Round Pond. From my house, the St. George River comes down, uh, goes around the old limestone quarry, uh, goes around the fairground, comes into Round Pond, out of Ron Round Pond, and over to uh, Seven Tree Pond. Um, this is Round Pond, so named because it's a round pond. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks like there's a heron or some sort of bird sitting. Yep, there they go. That's a couple of ducks. Look, there they go. Can you see that? Awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. Did you see it? Okay, here we are heading into the mouth of the St. George. We're going to head on upriver. You can see here that the beaver has been busy. He's cleared this bank of trees in order to build his little beaver house, which you see right up there. It's interesting he's built this beaver house kind of up on the bank. Of course, the river is awfully high. He's probably got a tunnel in there to get to it. And you can see over here where he's cleared up the bank, knot all these trees off and drug them over there for his beaver house. Pretty cool. This is the bridge leading into the fairground and the boardwalk around the back of it and it's interesting that there's a spot over here where it's all falling in. There's actually a building getting about ready to fall into the river back here. I always find that kind of interesting. This is the back side of the uh, grandstand. The uh, racetrack is right there, the horse racing track, and that's the grandstand where everybody sits and watches them at. Well, this is something new. We've got a new tree that has fallen into the river. From here, it appears to be blocking the path on up the river. This is kind of, kind of normal. This happens every so often. A tree falls in the river. It's kind of in the way for a while. Usually after a while, you find a way over it or under it or around it, or the river washes it away sooner or later. These things do happen. It might be interesting to notice the uh, beaver has chewed this tree a bit, but not enough to get it down. It looks like he gave up on it before he brought it down. <clears throat> what do you think? Should we try to go through the barrier or just head on back? Oh, we head on back. Alrighty. To the other side of the dilapidated building, only in Maine. <laughs> Structures falling apart. Yep. The way life is. Yep. It all comes to this sooner or later. Huh? It all comes to this sooner or later. <laughs> Things tend to fall apart. <laughs> 